What's the deal, y'all? Look, it's your boy Rare Soul, man. And the podcast wars continue. We got the No Jumper Gangsters versus AD and Community. All right, so pretty much if you don't know, Snoopy Badass, who is a confused rapper out of Compton, California, recently went on the No Jumper podcast and had a few different things to say about the ex co host that used to work that used to work there. Specifically, had a lot to say about AD, who's also a Compton rapper. Now, if you don't know, Snoopy Badass has been on No Jumper before, where they spoke about him going from a crypt to a blood, catching four fades back to back, and also his beef with WAC 100. If you don't know, WAC 100 and AD are closely connected. So, when he went on No Jumper, this is the part where he calls out AD for not coming to interview with him because he's a Compton blood. Let's hear him. Nah, nigga, fuck nah. that. Keep the busters. <laughs> Dead free, honest. Free Keep them we deal with them when they touch Yeah, down, free the bro. real ones, my yeah. nigga. <laughs> okay, so just to pivot a little bit. Let's go. After you came on last time, mm-hmm. there was an a Instagram live in which you basically called out a bunch of different members of the No Jumper staff. I believe yes, the fuck I did. you said that they were all failed rappers. I think at one point you said you wanted they to are. fade AD. They, no, I never said I wanted to. Nigga, I fade anybody. He's not here anymore. No, no, but I, don't I, get, I, I wouldn't I, care I, if he was, nigga. Let, let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I'll get down with anybody, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and they they just took a narrative that I said and said that I wanted to uh, fade AD. You know how they do on YouTube. They do it and to you all the time. And you said it was because you, you, he's mad or you, no, you no, thought no. he was mad that you would be I'm saying a, you're I'm the king t- of Compton. I'm going to tell you what the fuck. I, okay. I, I know he have a problem with me being the king of Compton. That's why he wasn't here the last time we did the interview. Mm. He made sure he, he didn't want to. Man, look it. AD, my nigga. Compton love, bro, but you're a WAC 100 sympathizer, and I know that's why you don't fuck with me. And I'm gonna leave it like that, bro. And I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna and kill at the that. time, the YG beef was kind of popping up. Oh yeah, 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 too. yeah, yeah. yeah. AD, it did, it did. This is my thing with AD, and I'm gonna say this. Fuck that. I'm finna say it because everybody act like they scared to say something about this nigga. I'm gonna say it. AD, you told I, I seen you on somebody post, and you said, "Don't come out dissing somebody, my nigga." Your first song was a diss song to YG, bro. Real? real niggas know that, bro. Know yeah, that. he dissed YG, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 until Which they, one was it? Uh, it, it was, it's a song. It ain't even on the internet, more, bro. But that's how AD even got his name out. He dissed YG. YG reached out because YG was going through some other shit. He, they niggas was politicking on him at the time. Yeah. He reached out and they did that one video together. Okay, yeah, because that was yeah, like yeah, one of yeah, his yeah, big that, things that, that, early see, on. Yeah. See, that's what, see, they try to make it look like they relationship started there. It didn't. But really? I'm just letting AD know. I don't got no problem with you, bro, but I ain't turning down nothing, my nigga. I, I know why. That's why you don't fuck with me, though, bro. Because you're a YG and WAC 100 sympathizer, and that's cool. So, feel me? You be look, but, but stay over there, though. So how you, how you a wacky? Man. So there it goes, man. He calls himself the King of Compton, as if Kendrick Lamar and many other rappers do not exist. Um, I'll be fair. I never even heard of this guy. But when he calls himself the King of Compton, mentions that a- AD also had a beef with YG. And a number of other just blasphemous things. <laughs> but that's not all he had to say. Uh, he continues to talk about various topics. And then towards the end of the podcast, he decides to throw a few more words aimed at not only AD, um, but potentially other various co-hosts that used to be a part of No Jumper before the big breakup. Here's what he said. Yeah, oh yeah, Adam, blood. My nigga, Damn. you got to fuck with Snoopy Badass more, homie. I want no jumper posts. Snoopy Badass drops the new wooty wop 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 wop. Yeah. Like, my nigga. You got budget? Um, yeah. <laughs> Holla at me, blood. Yeah. I think, hey, we got to pay? Well, look, look at the blood. Whatever we got to do, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? Like, I fuck with you, nigga. You're something out for sure. Yeah, I fuck with you, my nigga. Like, like, like I don't give a fuck at what people say. I understand motherfuckers hate on somebody that want to be them, nigga. And, and I want to say this about the niggas that was on your show that got on. All they brands look like like, like fake-ass no jumpers, bro. I'm, and Snoopy Badass is saying that. Man, I'm going to tell you they right all now. Look like, all y'all look like knockoff no jumpers. How y'all got the little font to y'all little y'all little uh, uh, fucking uh, podcasts? Come on, my nigga, you can't you can't snake a nigga then bite him, bro. And I want to. Yeah, I got respect that. for a, some of them. Brick baby harder. That's all I'm saying. There go there. Say Brick baby better. Brick baby was more loyal. Brick baby better. There go there. There go there, my nigga. But 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 I seen that though, because I because I seen it. I said because I when everybody start bouncing on you, I'm sitting back and I'm looking. I'm like. I want to see who gonna stay solid with blood. You know what I'm saying, my nigga. And I, and blood still here. I said, yep. I said, feel me. But you you seem like you got the little character of a nigga. And that I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, you Snoopy. Let me tell you or something. Whatever, you know what a lot, you a lot so? of the people. 
All right, so there. That's what uh, Snoopy had to say on that one, and that can be geared towards back on Fig, right? That could be geared towards Fig Immunity. That could be geared towards Community. That could even be geared towards Biggest Bros, Lush One, and all the rest of the people who left. He didn't mention any specific people in that situation, so you could just assume that goes for across the board. Now, if you notice right after that, Adam looks towards his new sidekick, Batman version 2, whatever you want to call it, and says, Brick Baby Harder. The level of dick riding is crazy. But he obviously knows that Big Baby's willing, ready and willing to do whatever to defend Adam because he hasn't been done wrong yet. If he's done wrong in the future, we'll see how that relationship plays itself out. But AD also has some words, and he also responds to the situation. Shit like that. So this whole time, I'm thinking like, oh, yeah, the nigga cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking it's solid, whatever. Not once did I even feel like it was some type of weird communication and anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I get to know Jumper, out of nowhere one day, the nigga starts sneak dissing, but he ain't putting the name to the shit. Mm. He's saying that this niggas had no jumper that's hating on him. Mm. You want to interview? He's saying he's hate. Hey, they're hating on him. They're hating. So I'm like, who the fuck is he talking about? And prior to that, what was the last time you had communicated to him? The nigga said he wanted to buy one of my shirts. Mm. Oh, and he asked for the feature again too. Mm. So at this point, he, asked well, he probably meant you was hating because you wasn't giving that nigga a feature. No, fuck the feature. He was sending he was sending shots to no jumper like. How are y'all interviewing all these people and you ain't interviewing me? Oh. You feel me? And then he have made a lie and said entitlement. entitlement. Okay. And then he said that, hey, it's people in the office that are hating on him. That ain't Adam. You feel me? <laughs> so I'm like, the fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there it goes. Um, the reason he didn't even want to go on the No Jumper show, he was already showing bad energy prior to, he's begging for features. He's not handling himself in a proper way that's going to bring AD to come interview with him. And on top of that, AD doesn't even really do interviews like that. So it's kind of a known thing that that's not really his lane anyway. He also talks about how it kind of looked like he was damn near applying for a job interview um, at, the no, at the end of his No Jumper interview. Pretty much almost seeming like he was begging to be a part of the platform so he can kind of build his reputation, build his clout, you know, build his following to maybe expose his music to more people because the thousand people that he's rocking with, it ain't working. He gonna need them 3,000 live viewers from the No Jumper guys or them 4 million subs or something because obviously he needs some help. Let's see what AD gotta say. King of Compton. <laughs> you supposed to have confidence in yourself. The King of Compton. Is That's what he was. He said, I was mad. He called himself the King of Compton. Bro, you have done nothing. Who? Nothing the compared. King of who? <laughs> nothing compared to me when it comes down musically. The King of Whoville. Nothing compared <laughs> to me when it comes down musically. The audacity of niggas to say no jumper is full of fail rappers. And honestly, it <laughs> sounded like you was up there trying to get a job interview. Let's keep it real. Fell rappers is funny though. I Over there lie. kissing a white man ass trying to get a job interview. That's what it sound like. Nigga said fell rappers. Come on, who bro. Was, oh, that is funny when you think about everybody who was up there mm. though. Come on, bro. That's a funny The show. audacity of niggas, <laughs> man. Lastly, after a little bit longer in that stream, he talks about the copycat situation and them kind of taking the channel ideas and the thumbnails and just the way the no jumper looks and feels. And it's hard to say that he's wrong, but we also got to remember that a lot of these guys who left were no jumper. Outside of that, it was only Adam. But all these other it was them, and then no and Adam. But they were essentially no jumper. But he does have a point as far as thumbnails, the style, and the look. Let's see what AD got to say about that. And then it was it's over hey, with. all those guys that left no jumper. It's over with, bro. Let it go. They should look like a copy of what they doing and everything like that. I can guarantee you, Community, Ace Boys, Back on Fig, even the Apollo. Your, none of your monthly checks for music can't fuck with none of our little channel if that's what it is, though. Mm. I bet you. Boom. He said, y'all not fucking with us. You not touching us. Your little channel ain't touching our channels. He stood on business, man. I ain't gonna lie, he stood on business. He also got some words for Adam, man. 
It doesn't just end there. He got some words for Adam as well. He starts off talking about Adam, just telling him that, you know, he should stop the disrespect. He's only been cordial and cool. He hasn't he hasn't disrespected Adam. He hasn't came at he hasn't come at Adam. He even has conversations with Adam and they talk here and there. So he urges Adam to slow, like to stop that disrespect. Doing that for views, there ain't no reason. There ain't no reason to do that for views, man. He says, stop the disrespect. And if he said and he says if Adam doesn't stop the disrespect, then nobody can stop him from taking care of business. This is what he had to say. Doing it. And there's nobody that work for No Jumper, affiliated with No Jumper, can stop me, 100%. Can't nobody call me to get me off your ass if we really get there, 100%. It ain't gonna go there. No, it ain't. So when you talk about me, have respect, my nigga, and leave it at that. So you see he ain't playing. AD is not playing no games at all. He threw with the disrespect. It's getting to a point where, you know, it's... It, it's, it's getting to a point where things are either going to get very real and it's not going to be content or people are going to talk behind the scenes and figure out, you know, how we can settle our differences. But I'm going to be honest. Pun? Pun. The punstigator himself. He says some real stuff at the end of this. Um, before he, before the, the end of this segment happens, Pun says some real OG stuff. And I respect, for, I respect him for what he had to say. Talking about whether this is going to be content or is this going to be real life. And when people say certain stuff, they got to understand where to draw those lines. This is what he had to say. Cool as shit. I think, I think, I think niggas want, want niggas to go back and forth with them on the internet because that's like a trending thing right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, we ain't doing that. Everybody, yeah. go, everybody dissing each other and going back and forth, back and forth. And then like, oh, we're just making content. No. Know what I mean? We're not doing that. But the level of the content these niggas are starting to make. Is not the type that you keep it just content. Like niggas mm -mm. doing fake paperwork, saying niggas are snitches, this and that. Like that shit ain't cool. You feel me? But if you want some clout, niggas, other ways to go about it. Or if you just want to be like in the end circle, niggas, other ways to go about it. 100%. You ain't got to diss niggas, especially yeah. if niggas, you responding to cut DMs, right? Yeah, he, and he's seen it. He ain't right, and man. You ain't got to diss the nigga. Just hit the nigga up. Hey, bro, I really want that feature. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's what Pun had to say, man. I'm going to be honest, bro. I respect what Pun has to say on that because here's the thing. Not everybody looks at content as content. Some people got street homies that don't see content as content. You say something, that's for real. We all in Los Angeles. Anybody can catch anybody anywhere outside. And if words are going back and forth and, and these words get to a point where they become too disrespectful, Things got to get handled in person. And at the end of the day, if we're all about making money, growing, and doing this and doing that, then these things can't happen. Because at, because if that does happen, it's only going to cause people to lose money, lose opportunities, lose connections, or lose their life. And that's just me being honest. And a lot of people don't see, don't see it, but that's what happens when... When you got people from certain backgrounds trying to play a ba have a balance with this internet sh with this internet stuff, so hopefully, you know people don't fall into the trap that Adam has built as far as creating beefs and causing potential harm to people, while he remains un untouched and unfazed. Or are they gonna fall in right into that plan? Either way, though, I hope the best for everybody. Hope everybody keeps continues to grow, grow their platforms, make money, etc. And that's it. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone next time. Peace.